chunk world where we're gonna be showcasing version three of the tiny tower all right so first of all the dimensions are just a little bit wider um i think the last one was a 20 radius circle i think we're looking at about a 23 now if i'm not mistaken um i'll count it a later and i'll let you know but the dimension didn't go much bigger now what's a little bit more special about this one than the other one is that we have a floor flusher so that way all the pads on the inside get completely flushed and all the mobs get pushed off the pads faster and down into here uh, that's what makes it more efficient <coughs> makes it more awesome and uh, that way you can also eliminate the FK area at the top um, just because you don't have to really wait for them to walk around and wait to fill up because it's constantly being filled up now you're gonna wonder what this clock in the back here for is and how fast is it going well I'm not exactly sure but it's a roughly about 15 to 20 seconds <laughs> I haven't really timed it um, if you remember on my old one <clears throat> I had one that was like uh, 30 seconds well I took off one of the ends here and repeaters here and I just shrunk it a little bit and I played with the timings and to get another <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry uh, another pulse out of this um, so as you see there it gets a pulse and every repeater I had to put a delay on it every so often to go up because the pulse is so fast that after so many torches it loses it it's it's too fast so you're gonna see on the inside uh, in a second on how all this works so we'll go up to the top here so I just see it's completely flush to the top too um, oops this one I'll just replace those now so we go back in here hide this because right now the floor is flooded and sometimes mobs get stuck in the middle, but that's okay. Um, the timer went off. <clears throat> I have to look at the video. So oh, and the timer went on. So all your mobs get pushed down here, and I guess uh, spiders have a little bit of a hard time uh, getting through, or they're flooding the circuit. But hmm. so we might have a little bit of a spider issue in the end. But uh, I think maybe they'll work themselves out and they'll go down <laughs> and almost well, we've got the other mobs they're brave enough to say hey get the fuck out of the way I want to go in alright there we go the spider started going in that's good so all the wiring is hidden yeah, right behind this column right here um, going up and down now if I was like at the bottom or the top spawn rates would spawn a lot better but I'm inside so it kinda screws things up a bit too and well it's still daytime so that's not a big deal I, mean, I just went to sleep before making the video so yeah that's that um, I got four essentially it's kinda like spawning pads all kinda like glued together and it's being dropped in by uh, I'll go to the top here and show you uh, by dispensers uh, if we go roughly around here there we go you can follow the wiring in and I'll show you and this is what it looks like on the uh, inside of every every layer and there's only three pads so you have essentially like 12 pads yeah, being flushed at the same time. Um, if you go with what I seen uh, a little while ago, somebody did this. I can't remember who, but yeah, that's what it is. So you just have your water being dispensed into a hole, as you see here, and it falls onto the pad. And it's the same thing on both sides. That's it. So 
uh, all controlled by this clock. And then say if you wanted to, well, you could just, you know, like, turn it off and on. But I guess I would have to maybe put a light indicator showing when the light, <laughs> when the pads are fluttered or not. I guess that's the only last thing I gotta figure out. And then once you know if the pad is on or off, well, then, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess you could just turn it off and have the pads flooded so that way you're not always spawning stuff until you come back. So my inventory is completely empty and we've been doing this for like a few minutes here. So let's just go and hop on down and see what we got here. So we got a half stack of front flesh, some arrows, some bones, some string, and some gunpowder, which isn't too bad for a few minutes of just hanging around. So. Um, I guess that's it, really. So I'm gonna redo this in my LP, and I'll try it out in my LP and see how it, it works in there. So, uh, that's it, everybody. Peace.